of Rick Perry and the Coyote is generating a lot of coverage, but as with a lot of news stories these days, everyone's taking sides. So what's the real story? Well, Roger Gray has more with what we'll call an investigation. Using high-tech computer simulation, we put together this recreation. The governor is renting a home in a heavily wooded subdivision since a fire destroyed the governor's mansion. While out jogging with his dog, apparently a coyote from nowhere launched himself at the animal. The governor was carrying a Ruger LCP, a 380 caliber handgun with a laser sight. Before the coyote could strike, Perry drew and fired, downing the animal and launching a legend. Animal rights advocates have argued he could have frightened the animal away with, oh, say, a rock. But there are obvious perils in that as well. But the political fallout is what's most on the observers. First of all, will it force mild-mannered challenger Bill White to start packing serious heat in lieu of the iPhone he carries now? And finally, has Perry lost the coyote vote forever? Roger Gray, KETKNBC.com. Well, let's hope he hasn't lost the coyote vote. Boy, that would really be a serious blow, I think, to his campaign. I'm just, I, I'm impressed. One shot, he carries a gun with him when he jogs. I know. I mean, this he is was a... defending his daughter's dog. I know. I mean, I don't see what the problem. If was, my but... dad shot a coyote for my dog, I would just be happy. Well, there you have it. See? Just be happy. I know. Just be happy. Just well, be well, happy well, that well, the dog is okay. I know. That's well. That's true. But well, we're not.